The best players of an era can be easily identifiable, whether it's by skills or by media attention. But what about the players with great skills who didn't quite get the recognition they deserved? 90 Sports Nostalgia presents the top five most underrated players during the 90s. And don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and check out more 90 Sports Nostalgia material. Starting off as the fifth most underrated NBA player in the 90s, Sharif Abdurrahim. Relatively a productive but quiet one-year stint at the University of California, Abdurrahim was drafted third overall in the 1996 NBA draft by the Vancouver Grizzlies. Playing in what was then known as NBA Siberia, very few were able to watch Abdurrahim play or hear about his team or his game. Ford had the ability to score inside and command double teams. Unfortunately, Abdurrahim only made one All-Star team in 2002, despite averaging more than 20 points a game in a season six times. Next at number four, Rod Strickland. The DePaul product was never exceptionally athletic, but was able to always to somehow get into the paint and finish at the rim. Furthermore, Strickland was a tremendous decision-making point guard. Playing in the 90s for the Spurs, Trailblazers, and Bullets, many forget about Strickland and his ability to play the point. The New York native did make the All-NBA second team in 1998, but never an All-Star team for some reason. Coming in at number 3 as the most underrated NBA player during the 1990s, Jamal Mashburn. Being drafted out of Kentucky, Mashburn was part of a promising future, along with Jim Jackson and Jason Kidd in Dallas, but it never panned out. Mashburn excelled early on in his career, averaging more than 19 points a game during his rookie season, then averaged more than 23 points per game during his next two seasons. The Bronx native had excellent moves to score in the post. Moreover, the 6'8 forward could easily get to the rim against taller defenders with his low and quick crossover. After Dallas, Mashburn was traded to the defensive-oriented Miami Heat, and as a result, Mashburn's scoring went down as he got fewer shot attempts but a trade to the Hornets saw a scoring number go back over the 20 points per game mark. Coming in at number two, Mitch Richmond. This seems like a very obvious selection, as Richmond was very well recognized as being quite underrated during this period. Michael Jordan once said, Mitch Richmond doesn't have any weaknesses in his game. The former member of Run TMC wasn't well known outside of Sacramento during his prime. However, after being named the 1995 NBA All-Star Game MVP, the recognition seemed to slightly increase. Richmond wasn't as explosive as Jordan or Clyde Drexler, but the former Kansas State guard could get a shot off with ease and convert baskets over any defender efficiently. And finally, the number one most underrated NBA player during the 1990s, Anthony Mason. Mason was a third round selection of the Portland Trailblazers in 1988 but blossomed with the New York Knicks among their deep front court. During the 90s, NBA power forwards weren't known for their passing and dribbling abilities. However, Mason was exceptional in both areas. Mason could also score in the post and was one of the toughest players ever, someone you might want on your all-dark alley team. The Tennessee State product was also a tremendous defender, making the NBA all-defensive second team in 1997. But few really recognized the well-rounded game Anthony Mason displayed.